Hey, what's going on guys? Carter here. In this video, we're going to be discussing carbonized lock faces. Some of you may be familiar with that term, some of you might not be familiar with that term. So I'll just run through and tell you exactly what it is, uh, what the benefits are, um, and things like that. So right here we have my Les George VECP that I have been carrying around. It has been great. Has that uh, little stone washing I did on the frame last night. I like it. It's okay. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll keep it for a while and either uh, stone wash it a little deeper or bead blast it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, this knife features a carbonized lock face. And as you'll notice, when you go to unlock the knife, there is no noise. And there's no noise because there's no stickiness. Now, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but carbonized lock faces are featured in titanium frame lock and liner lock knives. Uh, it deals exclusively, as far as I know, with titanium locking knives. Now, first, let's take a look at the problems with titanium locks. Titanium is actually pretty soft, especially in comparison to the advanced steels that we use in many of our blades. Um, so that means it is A, going to wear every time that it contacts the lock face on the blade and it's also going to stick. It's not going to want to come undone. Now carbonizing relieves both those issues and basically what carbonizing is is welding a thin little layer of carbides onto the titanium right there on top of this lock bar. Now these carbides you may be familiar with are also featured on titanium blade knives typically such as Warren Thomas here. As you can see he has carbides on his edge so this is basically the same concept that you are seeing on the lock face. These ultra hard carbides have been welded into the titanium in order to add um, edge retention to a normally soft steel. Same exact, exact concept here. These ultra hard carbides will provide a lot of wear resistance and will also eliminate stickiness issues. Um, a lot of makers are doing this such as Les George, Curtis Knives, um, can't think of others off the top of my head but a lot of custom makers do carbonize their lock faces and a lot of them don't. Uh, Sebenzas actually do not carbonize their lock faces. Uh, Striders do not carbonize. Um, it would be awesome if they did but of course it's it's more expense on their on their part. Um, a lot of knife pimpers will do this for you. I know Tough Thumbs he will do carbonizing so if you send in um, a knife to him he will carbonize the lock face for you to uh, increase the longevity and uh, also the smoothness. I mean as you can see I mean unlocking this blade is just there's no there's no stickiness at all. It just slides right off. Alright guys so that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions just post comments down below but other than that this is the basics of what a carbonized lock bar is. Uh, so if you're in the custom knife market it might be a feature that you want to look into. Alright guys, take it easy.